Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott here, and in this video, I'm checking out the Hornet Transport RC Helicopter. As you can see, it's slightly different compared to the other helicopters out there, as it comes with an electronic winch. As you can see, these dudes look like they're having fun. Judging by that massive house, I'd say their parents are loaded. The basket can handle diamond ring, popcorn, or some kind like that. Well, that's a pretty random sentence. So yeah, it doesn't look like it can carry the most heaviest of objects, but either way, let's get inside. Inside the box, there's the instructions. There's the helicopter itself. There's also this little plastic basket a bag with the USB cable and spare parts, that's pretty handy. And finally we have the controller, which looks pretty familiar. The helicopter has the double propeller twin engine design and has that upward facing rear propeller, which surprisingly makes it a lot more easier to control compared to the older designs that used to crash before you even touched the controls. The miniature winch is controlled by another small engine and gearbox and can extend to about 15 inches. The controller takes the usual 6 AA batteries. And you can charge the helicopter either via the controller or USB. I decided to charge via the USB as I don't particularly fancy wasting up all those AA batteries. Make sure the chopper is switched to off when it's charging. Once the USB LED turns red, that means it's fully charged. Once turned on, you get the standard ridiculous flashing lights. Thankfully, you can turn them off via the controller. For the controllers, this joystick moves it forwards, backwards, left and right. You have the standard throttle control here. There's also a demo button, which doesn't do anything. A button for the lights. There's also a left and right button here, which I thought was something to do with the trim, but it turns out it does nothing. On the top of the control, there's two buttons which control the winch and two other blank buttons. I think it might just be time for a test flight. As predicted, it's very easy to fly and the controls are relatively simple. The helicopter is trimmed nicely and will keep straight without too much effort. The twin propellers create quite a powerful downforce too. Whoops. Let's try out the winch. Now it comes with this lightweight plastic basket which looks like it could break very easily. Okay, let's try and pick up this payload of Lego. Trying to actually pick up the basket is tricky. Like, ridiculously tricky. But it's not impossible. Do expect a lot of this to happen though. Even with the payload attached, it still flies very straight. So overall, I think it's pretty fun, and for £30, I think it's reasonably priced too. Now you can get similar helicopters with the same performance for about half the price.
but it's the cool little winch which makes up for the extra £15. So there we have it, the Hornet Transport Helicopter. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.